In the standard adopted by the FCC, there are different limits of exposure for the unsuspecting public versus those who work in the industry. This graph illustrates the difference in acceptable exposure limits. The current legislation states that since workers are knowingly exposed to a higher level of exposure than the public, they must be trained to recognize and understand the hazards involved while working in those areas. In the next few slides, we will cover some definitions that are crucial to the understanding of RF and EME. Radio frequency, or RF, is the frequency range or spectrum. The spectrum range is extensive and can span anywhere from 1 Hz all the way to 300 gigahertz. The general spectrum for telecommunications workers will involve a range from 10 megahertz to 20 gigahertz. Radiation is the release and spread of energy, both electrical and magnetic, in the form of rays or waves. Energy is produced by all electromagnetic sources, which include the sun, TV and radio, microwave ovens, the human body, etc. All energy takes the form of radiation. The wave is made up of electric, E, and magnetic, H, energy fields which interact with each other to form electromagnetic radiation or energy. Ionizing radiation has enough energy to change the chemical structure of matter at a molecular level when it is absorbed. Some examples of ionizing radiation include X-ray and gamma rays. The changes experienced by the human body are cumulative. Non-ionizing radiation does not have enough energy to change molecules or cell structure, so the energy is absorbed as heat. Some examples of non-ionizing radiation include AM-FM TV, cellular, PCS, etc. The change to the body is not cumulative, 